Hello there and welcome back to another LEGO Store trip. Now this isn't an official LEGO Store, it is a Smiths, so I guess it's just a LEGO trip. But LEGO trips are back, this is the first one of 2024. Hopefully we can get to a LEGO Store soon as I definitely want to check out the pub wall, the new BAM selection and pick up a few sets. But there's not many LEGO stores once you go too far out of London. So next time I'm in London we'll have to definitely pay them a visit. But... Back to Smiths, we saw Chewbacca, which the box looks huge for, but we definitely want to pick up this Super Mario Piranha plant someday. And, of course, had to stop off at the Star Wars section. They had the battle packs. No other new sets so far for Star Wars, but there are definitely some really good ones on the way. And we also got to take a look at a few of the other new sets like this. Venom Mech, they had War Machines next to them, but Venom comes with two minifigures, which is awesome. And they also have the brand new Spider Web, which is able to be bent and is a bit more durable than the older one that we used to get in. In other sets, we also get the Spider-Man car, which, again, the car's useless, but that venomized green goblin looks awesome. Dreams had a promo at Smith's. Any set could be bought, and you get a free Z-Blob plush, which looks cool, but they only had these two sets available. And that one I got all the minifigures for. This one, the Castillo Turtle Van, is... A bit lacking it was reduced to only 28 quid but i really wanted to pick up this z blob and originally i was going to buy mr oz's space car set which i mean izzy's narwhal would have been the best to get it's the cheapest but smiths don't really have many dream sets at that let alone any of the other five brand new ones mr oz's space car i think was actually the only one they were selling and likewise they didn't have too many other new sets, but they did have all the Minecraft sets, so we took a look at the turtle. Someday we'll pick this up, but for now, let's get our Minecraft display sorted first. My fiancé did, however, point out to me that the turtle egg is sort of a wrong colour. The black squares on it are meant to be more of a dark blue in the actual game. You can see it better on the picture on the bottom left, but... They're black squares, they should be a dark blue. It's a little inconvenience for Lego, I'm sure. Black was just the first colour that came to mind. But the Minecraft sets look cool. Not much on the Harry Potter storefront. Likewise with the brick heads, I did not know these were exclusives. I mean, we picked up Wally and Eve, Ahsoka, the Llama, all at Lego stores. But the first pair of brick heads we actually picked up was Mando and Grogu, who were actually in an Asda at the time, and reduced at that so instead of picking up the stitch brick heads for my fiance i actually got this cool axolotl light which changes between five different colors and if you want a color to stick you just press a button on the axolotl's bum and it sticks with that color it looks a bit smoother in real life it doesn't flicker at all it's a nice gradual change and the axolotl itself is actually standing on its four feet sort of hovering above everything else which with as big as a head it has is really really impressive and just looks great alongside any other minecraft display or even by itself now taking a look at the creator sets that i promised you when they were announced and i said it'd be amazing to see these in store after seeing them in a sainsbury's they are so colorful all the different colors the yellows the blues the greens the pinks and even the flowers look great i mean You've got all the adult sets there, which are black boxes. Harry Potter tends to stick to a dark blue, Minecraft green, and then we're back to Star Wars with the black boxes. So they all blend into each other. Not much shouts out to you, but when you take a look at these creator sets, I mean, all of the sets just scream to be bought. And these are aimed at younger people and to spark imagination. So the color does make sense. Even the creator boxes next to it, the classic boxes, sorry have more colour than the average set, so I really do like it. Of course, they're Lego's own brand of sets, and we've got a bunch of the new ones. I almost didn't see the roller skates up there, but we have the flower and birds and also the cameras. We can take a look at the three builds for each. The two cameras for this one are amazing, especially with the reels with the printed elements. And the birds for the second one are definitely my favourite out of the three. And as for the roller skate, well... I just really like all three of them, but the roller skates are pretty cool to be built out of Lego. They do like their shoes, and speaking of Lego, this isn't a Lego product, but Smiths do have these minifigure display cases, which if we take a look online, do light up, which will look really cool in my background, as I have now cleared the West Ham shirts, and 
I'll speak more on it in a minute, but I just think this would be a cool way to show off my CMF. So let me know if you think the same down in the comments. Now, speaking of CMFs, I did pick up another 11. We already got one January 1st, and we know that was the Sprinter. Do check out that video for everything else I did purchase. But I was definitely going to be picking up a full series. There is a way to actually know which ones you're getting using the QR on the bottom. These were all the wrong QRs. They were the small ones. You need the large ones. But fear not, they had a box out back. I was able to take a look at a fresh box and also see the pattern of the minifigures, which I will be going over in tomorrow's video because it is quite interesting, very different and unique compared to all the other series, which normally follow the same pattern. Sainsbury still had these Eternal sets, which was right next door to the Smiths, and I didn't pick any up. I mean, they're still full price, 18 quid for the three minifigures, £9 for the two, and they each come with a monster build, but the figures are going for £1-£2 on Bricklink, so if I wanted the figures, I'd probably pick them up second hand. They had a few other sets, no real discounts, but I'm afraid we didn't pick up the Stitch brick heads today. Maybe we'll make a trip to a Lego store in the upcoming weeks, and try to pick it up if it's still in stock because it is sold out online but the brick heads have now been moved to as you can see on top of my storage drawers which i definitely need to get another one of to fill out the gap where the t-rex skull is and continue the brick heads across of course the smith's displays would look great behind the malevolence here and would just show off the cmfs it makes it a bit easier than the displays that are underneath here and I'll probably still be doing a Brickheads collection in the upcoming days, probably even a day or two apart. So stay tuned for that after the CMF because I was going to do one once we got Stitch. I guess it might be a while till we get Stitch. So I'll just show off all of them and I do have a custom behind the ones you can see. Speaking of customs, my Rex custom figure is hiding all of the other CMF Marvel figures in my red Lego display here. And I could get two more of these, stack them up on shelves. It turns out to be a lot of money and I'd rather look at them the way these spacemen are as I think it's just better than them all being crowded in the little display. And also if we go across to the other side, we've got the Harry Potter sets which are all in the way and they don't even have enough space on their own little two squares of the unit they're standing on. So I would like them displayed a bit more like these Star Wars minifigures down here and I'll probably still stare out the Smiths displays just so you can see them all like you can with the Star Wars ones. But I think that would look great for the CMF, so I'd probably have to detail a few of the dragons. And of course, next month, we've got the Shock Trooper in the magazine, which is amazing. I'll definitely be picking up one of them. But I just... And even the LEDs on the Smiths. I just really think that that would be a great thing to get. But tomorrow, we will be opening all of the CMFs, as you can see. The big QR codes, I did manage to get them in the end, so I will be opening each and every one. They've all got different codes on them, I don't know if they'll relate. We will be taking a look at other ways you might be able to identify them, but there's an app. Hopefully these are all of the ones that I am missing, and there is 12 here, but I did only order 11, and that is because I kept the box from the old one. It's a small QR, and we'll get more into that in tomorrow's video, so subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Stay tuned so you do not miss that video, because... It's going to be great and hopefully we're able to get all 12 from series 25 and hopefully this continues going forward with the future series. As always, may the bricks be with you.